every day I'm in this house, I urinate like numerous times in a day. That particular day, when I was asked to give a urine sample, I was not urinating. So in the span of two hours, you go in for them to take your blood sample every 30 minutes and then um, your urine sample as well, which could cause you know, complications during delivery. So I wouldn't get complacent God, you made me humble when starting out of my basement God was always there to keep the danger out the way Times I could've went a different round and gone away But rest in peace to the what ifs All I know is God did, God did Oh yes, He did, hey God If you're new here, my name is Naku Alute and you're most welcome, however I really do love for you to stay. So kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing YouTube family and to my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. So um, lately I've been sharing my pregnancy journey with you guys, so I'm a first time mom to be and I've decided to take you guys along on my pregnancy journey. So today is actually... Um, a big day sort of i'm having one of the most important you know tests during pregnancy today um we are i don't know if you guys can see this but we are 29 weeks um three days pregnant and i'm having my glucose test today the glucose test is actually to test for or to check for gestational diabetes and so i'm on my way to the hospital now to you know do the test and it's normally taken around the 30 week mark and so because i'm 29 weeks um three days now like i'm almost 30 weeks so when i take the test today today is a saturday um when i take the test today i'll see the doctor on tuesday by then my results will be ready and all of that and i was asked to fast um like prior to the test so um i was asked not to eat after 7 p.m last night i think i had my last meal around you know six ish last night and i've not eaten this morning as well so i'm just on my way to the hospital to the lab for the test to be done i know i'll be given like a glucose solution to drink and my blood will be drawn like within a particular um, time interval to check you know how quick my blood is able to dissolve the sugar or the glucose and so that's like the whole essence of the glucose test and yeah so i'll take you guys along i'll let you guys know how it goes my experience and all of that um yeah on my way to the hospital now i was told to come like a bit early obviously because um i fasted last night not like i fasted last night i ate i wasn't supposed to eat after seven last night and this morning i'm not supposed to eat before the test is being taken and all of that and i watched a couple of videos where people said it took like you know quite a while like some people stayed there for up to three hours and all of that so i think that was why i was told to come a bit early so that um latest but i was told to come back by seven so that latest by maybe 10 ish will be done so i can eat so that it's not really like um i'm starving myself but yeah i think i'll get there for 7 30 which isn't really bad so i'll let you guys know how like the whole thing goes what actually goes into you know taking a glucose test and yeah i'll keep you guys posted as always we're soaring up high got no clue how do i know what i mean to you yeah say it out loud Now tell me exactly how you feel 
from the hospital but first things first let me go and find food to eat because i'm hungry like i'm starving so i'm going to get something to eat and then i would you know just you guys on how the whole thing went it's been a very long morning for me so let me quickly get something to eat and you know we'll talk i think i would i'll do all of that when i get home so yeah the plan was actually to take um, biscuits, like some snacks along, but I forgot. The only thing I took with me is Alasa. <laughs> so yeah, I only took Alasa with me. Hey guys, so I've had my glucose test done. I think I did it um, two or three weeks ago. That was when I was 30 weeks. And so yeah, I'm just here to give you guys, you know, details on how my glucose test went, my experience and all of that. So the glucose test is to, you know, screen for gestational diabetes during pregnancy. And it's mostly done around the, you know, 30 weeks mark. And so I had mine done when I was in my 30th week. So basically I yeah, given, you know, a glucose solution um, to drink and it's just to check how well your your body is able to absorb or break down the glucose sort of so it's just to check how well like your body blood urine everything is able to absorb the glucose so just like the anomaly scan i was asked to fast um, prior to the glucose test being done and so um the night before i had my glucose test done on a saturday as well if you've not seen my anomaly scan video i'll link it up here you can do well to you know check it out because that is also another important um scan during your pregnancy journey so yeah do well to check that out because i'll link it up here as i was saying just like the anomaly scan i was asked to fast prior to you know the the glucose test being done so the friday night I think I had my last meal around 6-ish, I, I really can't remember because it's been like 2 or 3 weeks and I couldn't eat anything till the next morning when I went in for my glucose test. So as soon as I got to the hospital, um, the first thing I was asked to do was to give them a urine sample. So they asked for a urine sample so that you know they have like fresh urine without any like food. That's why you are even asked to fast because they want like your very first urine. Or like fresh urine without any I don't know how to put it but like you know when you take food it now breaks down the what's it called the nutrients and all of that and it, it it dilutes or it adds up to your urine so yeah when I go to the hospital the first thing I was asked to do was to give them a urine sample and funny enough you guys every day I'm in this house I urinate like numerous times in a day that particular day when I was asked to give a urine sample, I was not urinating. So I had to sit there, like I kept drinking water, drinking water, drinking water for more than 30 minutes before I was finally able to pee for the whole you know, process to begin. So after you give them your first urine sample, they would also draw blood. Um, that's also like the first sample of blood they draw out. So yeah, they took my urine sample and then they took out, you know, blood. And it was after, you know, the two samples were taken, then I was given the glucose solution to drink, which was quite a struggle because um, one annoying thing about my pregnancy is the fact that I'm not able to, to take sweet stuff. Like if you know me, you know I have a sweet tooth, but funny enough, Throughout this journey, 
taking sweet stuff is like work it's like extreme work for me and so drinking that glucose solution was so hard because it was so concentrated like they don't really dilute it that much and so it was so concentrated it was so sweet and so it was a struggle for me to you know drink that but then yeah i managed to drink it and after that is done like after you finish drinking it you go in for them to take your your blood sample every 30 minutes in the span of um, i think two hours yeah so in the span of two hours you go in for them to take your blood sample every 30 minutes and then um, your urine sample as well and so yeah i had to pop back into the lab every 30 minutes within like a two hour span so within that two hours i think i went back like four times yeah so i had to pop back after every 30 minutes for them to you know take my blood sample again and also provide um, urine sample but then this time around the blood was not drawn from my veins like the you know very initial um, blood sample that was drawn um, this time around like for all the subsequent you know 30 minutes once that I did it was just you know a prick on the finger and then they just take like just a little sample to test the glucose level and for the urine, I think that I had to give them urine sample after every other one. So I gave them, I think a total of three urine samples and then the blood, the blood samples was like every 30 minutes. And the reason why they do like the 30 minute interval is to see how well your body is able to break down the glucose within, you know, a specific time interval. And so yeah, that was how my my glucose test went. Um, in total, I think I spent about three hours at the at the hospital. Like I said, when I got there for my very first urine sample, it was hard for me to produce urine, so it took quite some time. And because of that, I had to spend close to three hours. But the the process itself or the test itself is like a two hour test which is actually long but then mine lasted longer because of the fact that I couldn't produce urine and all of that so I spent like three hours and guys I was starving I was starving and so yeah a tip if you are going for you know your glucose test make sure you take something along like a snack or food anything something you can just you know munch on after the process is over because guys i was starving that's how my glucose test went um i did it on a saturday and so they now had to you know go through the process after um collecting the samples to come up with you know the accurate um glucose test results and so i didn't get my results that same day i got it on the tuesday like i saw my doctor the tuesday after the samples were taken and to god be the glory everything is fine i don't have gestational diabetes my glucose level and everything is you know perfect the glucose test is very important because um, having gestational diabetes while pregnant can be alarming it can lead to premature birth it can lead to still birth that is you know loss of the baby and it can also lead to your baby growing larger than usual so it's very important to have you know this test done so that in case you have um, gestational diabetes your doctor would know how to you know treat you or how to handle um, your pregnancy going forward all right guys so this video was just to share my glucose test experience with you guys um, since I'm a first-time mom and I'm learning on this journey um, I hope any other first time mom watching this video or you know any other lady planning to get pregnant and all of that would find this video helpful and if you do find it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any further questions relating to the glucose test or even if you have any questions relating to pregnancy in general you can leave them in the comment section below and i'll do well to respond to them if i can and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel you know what to do kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family and i'll see you guys in my next video bye